Let's do an example of using crack growth rates to estimate the number of cycles until failure. It says the following, a steel plate with a fracture toughness of 80 megapascal root meters is alternatively loaded in tension to 500 megapascals and compression to 60 megapascals. If A and N are given, what is the largest tolerable surface flaw if this component must survive 10 years being cycled once every five minutes? Okay, so we are reminded what the crack growth equation is. Um, so how do we go about doing this? Since in this case, we're solving for the largest tolerable surface flaw, right? That's A naught. We're, trying, we're being asked to solve for A naught. We better have all the other variables, right? So A we don't need. That's going to be in the integral. But we do need to know what our final critical surface flaw is. Y we're going to assume is 1.12. Delta sigma we need to know. But we're told that it cycles between 500 in tension and 60 in compression. So delta sigma is going to be equal to 500 minus we're going to ignore tension so it goes down to zero. So it's equal to 500 megapascals. Remember, in this, in this class, we're assuming that cracks don't grow under compression, only tension. So the range is 500 megapascals. A and N are given. And then NF, the number of cycles till failure. Well, we know that it has to survive 10 years. And it's being cycled once every five minutes. So in one year, there are 365 days. In one day, there are 24 hours. In one hour, there are 60 minutes. And it's being cycled one cycle every five minutes. So when we plug all of that in, we find that the total number of cycles that it has to withstand is 1.05 times 10 to the sixth. 1.05 times 10 to the sixth cycles, so about a million cycles, a million fifty thousand cycles, okay? So let's go ahead and plug this into our integral for the number of cycles, right? 1.05 times 10 to the sixth cycles must now be equal to 1 divided by a, which is 1.62 e to the negative 12, that's meters per cycle, multiplied by pi to the n over 2, so pi to the 3.2 divided by divided by 2 multiplied by the range in the stress that's 500 megapascals um, to the n 3.2 this is multiplied by the integral of our largest critical flaw size which we're going to be solving for all the way up to ac and then we're going to take dA over 1.12 to the 3.2 multiplied by A to the 3.2 divided by 2. So we're not quite ready to finish this yet. We need to know what our largest critical flaw size is. So let's use Griffith fracture theory to figure that out. Griffith fracture theory says the following, that the fracture toughness K1C is equal to Y times the stress at fracture so that's going to be our maximum stress that it experiences, multiplied by the square root of pi AC. So this will be 500 megapascals. We're told that the fracture toughness is 80 megapascals, root meters. Y is 1.12. So we can solve for the critical flaw size. The largest the flaw will ever get is, when I plug these numbers into my calculator, I get a value of 0 0.00649 meters, 0 0.00649 meters, so six, about six and a half millimeters. That is going to get plugged into our critical flaw size of that integral. So let's go ahead and take that integral and multiply out everything in the pre-integral uh, term, and we get the following. 1.05 times 10 to the sixth cycles is going to be equal to 228.2 multiplied by negative 1.15 divided by a to the 0 0.6. This integral is be taken from 0 0.00649 down to the, from the starting size, a naught up to that larger value, right? 
When we plug in those values, we get the following. 264.66 over a naught to the 0 0.6th value minus 5,436.8. When we solve for a naught, I find that a naught is equal to 9.97 times 10 to the negative seventh. 9.97 times 10 to negative seventh meters.